Hello, in this section, we are going to discuss about security testing of a web application manually. And it's me, Sanjay Stephen. So go for this session. And monitor access control management. This is means access control is essential for protecting applications and system from unauthorized access, both from external attackers and internal threats. Okay there are two types of categories for this that are authentication means who you are and second one authorization what you can you can do and what information you can access so coming to the authentication means the user type may be a admin or normal user okay authorization means what are the actions you can do suppose some pages you can access some pages are accessible so based on authorization it is working okay example employees should only access information relevant to their jobs okay and this approach ensure that sensitive information is only accessible to those with the appropriate and come coming to this session and there is a check disable login this comes under authentication okay and all based access to certain pages and operations this comes under authorization okay then so you need to check this type of testing you can create different type of user that is admin and normal user and try to log in with and what are the pages you can access or uh, operations that you can do based on the permissions so you need to set different types of users and permission and set that permission to corresponding users and set different uh, different types of testing based on that okay this this means authentication authorization experts okay coming to the second one authentication testing the objective is validate the security of a login and authentication mechanism and practical example brute force login attempt suppose you are trying to log in an application with the invalid username password it will pop up a error message right suppose it is not any mechanism to block suppose you are trying maximum three attempt of invalid username password then it will block for five minutes this is a blocking mechanism okay so if it is i'll allow the user to unlimited login attempt so it is capable for brute force attacks so you need to block that attempt of brute force so i am creating how to use the brute force login attack using a WhatsApp tool i will add this in description box you can check that one okay so you need to check the authentication testing by using brute force attack is able to perform on that side okay i will demonstrate on one side okay this is the site here if i try to use try to give me incorrect username password it is able to perform that one because it is not blocking the user attempt yes it is not blocking okay so it is able to perform the brute force attack for this site okay I enter value user it is login in but it is not blocking the incorrect username password so it is applicable or it is able to attend incorrect username password multiple times it is not blocking okay so the next is user password management sorry use password management effective password management is another quite important security testing technique especially during manual testing how to test for efficient password management you have to follow a good password policy that means you need to follow the password good policy means you need to allow the user to create a very good pa complex password including character numbers and special characters so it will help to guess the password for the hackers or brute force password attacks 
and the password should be in encrypted format which is in saved in db otherwise whenever the db is exposed to the uh, hacker the password is able to see by them if it is not in encrypted format so the password should be in encrypted format you need to test the whether the password is, is saved in db in encrypted format or not okay then coming to the next one session management testing this is session handling for vulnerabilities practical example is suppose you are logging to a application there will be a session id is created for that that login suppose you log out then again log into the same site then it sh it is expected that the session id should be different if it is not different the same as the previous one then it is hijack session so attackers can hijack the sessions okay so i will demonstrate on site suppose i am logging before that i will take the inspect window okay right button and inspect so in that you can see the application tab there is a cookie okay now it is empty there is no data suppose i log in it is logged in right so that time so whenever i log in go to the the tool you can see the session id so here it is not there is no session id it is session username is there so user can change this session username if it is able to change and minimize and if we refresh and it's a persist session then it is vulnerable now it is it is logged out so there is no vulnerable chance to session session related issues if it is coming to uh, here if it is in your section suppose there is a session id then it should be unique one on each login each time of login should be unique okay and you can clear the cookie okay right button and clear and you can also reverse the page what will happen okay so these are the testing you need to perform clear and refresh session should be logged out and one more testing is there if you log in for some time the session should be clear out for after some ideal time okay so you also check that session is clear after some time of 10 15 minutes of ideal so that also you need to check session is clearing or not okay then coming to the next topic input validation testing prevent prevent injection vulnerability a well known example is sql injection so if you enter a malicious code or a the ex non executable code like this or one equal to one so for drop table users this is sql 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 queries which which when you input into the input field if it is getting an error from db then it is vulnerable sql injection it must be occurred for this field so you need to check this field suppose i how to do that just copy this code the query and you can paste over here uh, paste over the username and lock in maybe some cases it execute a db error then it we can control that it is vulnerable for sql injection okay another example is this one copy and paste over here and okay here there is no any error any message is not there so it is not vulnerable for sql injection in your case you can check the input field like this okay okay then coming to the next one cross site scripting simply xss objective ensure input field do not execute malicious scripts practical example i will demonstrate over here enter the code this is the into the it's a code which which is for alert 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 in window it will display xss so it's a sample one 
if it is the input field is showing our executing our code that means it is vulnerable chance for accesses that means cross site scripting so if it is executable means it is vulnerable we can check on one application here i pasting the code for alert and search it is popped up the the alert window yes it is popped up so it is vulnerable it is a vulnerable site so in your case you can check the text box field with entering this script script for alert if it is popped up then it stands for accesses okay then you can check the next is file upload testing test for unsafe file upload mechanism example upload a file with the malicious extensions like .php or exe that are uploaded then if the file is executed on the server that means it is it is very critical and we need to block that one so you need to check this uh, try to upload the file within the extension .php or exe suppose in our case it is only accept the uh, bad file or access uh, SL, xlx file so we need to validate in front end as well as in back end api side also otherwise it stands to vulnerable if you are trying to upload this type of extension php exe so you need to check it is what happening when you're uploading these types of extensions okay and prevent that uploading on front end and back end okay then coming to the url manipulation the url manipulation is a technique where attackers modify url parameter to exploit the application this involves changing the values in url to gain unauthorized access to or perform malicious actions example if you you can see this is the url and profile slash one two three if it is accessible accessible for me and i will change the url into one two three four then it is getting the profile of another person then it is vulnerable right uh, because i am only authorized to to view the my own data if i able to access the other user data then it is an issue so you, you can check your application by changing the path of the url so how to avoid this type of issue most of you can avoid these ids we can't we not permit to allow on that on url passing the id so it is no, no chance to take the url like from urls okay then coming to the last tools for manual text security testing buff suit a well-known tool community edition is a free tool for intercepting and analyzing the request and another tool is whatsapp for finding vulnerability manually and it's open source and free and i have created how to a very good session on a whatsapp tool tutorial you can check i will add that in description box and postman for api testing okay and best practices are follow OWASP top 10 guidelines and test in staging or isolated environments only not you not permitted to do on live it may harmful okay hope you enjoyed this section and thank you for watching